This is Jeff Sidex World Conquers. You may be familiar with it from the Kickstarter project that Jeff started online. Uh, I was lucky enough to get to do all the graphics and art for this, uh, except for the cover, which was done by Alan Pollock. Uh, this is um, my first look at the final, and uh, the graphics look fine. The printing looks off. It looks like they did not align it the way the die lines said they would. Everything is shifted this way a little bit. This is one of the reasons I do not like printing in China. Everything else looks fine on the outside. The back looks great, exactly what I wanted. Um, we are going to open it now. I don't know if Jeff has already done this with his project on his end at his house, but this is the first time I'm opening it, um, and we'll take a look at what's inside. Not that I don't know what's inside, but let's see how it came out. The box is really sturdy. I like that. I think most gamers like really sturdy boxes. And I love that the first thing you see when you open the box is colorful, pretty map. Map was done by Tim Piotrowski. I did the graphics and everything else on top of the map, but Tim did the actual graphics, the actual colors and everything else on the map. Um, we added the grid in the background uh, afterwards. Um, but really, the focus was on making sure that every continent got its own color which I think came out really well. Looks like these are a little too close to one another. Canada and Mexico probably a little too close to one another, but I think for the most part, the range of colors is really strong. Um, and I love the way all this came out. This is great. The map looks great. Does it fold the way I think it folds? It does not. It folds like this. So there you go. Uh, there's an ad on top that Jeff snuck in here. For Baksha games, I don't know who Baksha games are. They must have advertised with Jeff. But here's the other side. I also got to do the graphics on Hunting Party for Jeff. Who would win is probably the sexiest game he's ever done, though. I'm really jealous of whoever got to graphic design this. It looks amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened here. This is, again, the problem with printing in China. This should not have a white border around it. Um, I graphic designed this specifically so that it would not have that situation, and I didn't get to prove. It also looks like, no, that's right, that's how that's supposed to look. That all came out just fine. We printed in two color uh, format, black, and then this Pantone brown, or beige, or tan, uh, and then, of course, white, which is not a color at all, and it's free with the paper. Here's the guts. Um, they did not have yellow. So Jeff shipped me yellow separately in a different bag over another box, but there's four different colors. It's a playing game for four people. Uh, these are markers to keep track of how long the game has gone, um, and I believe also in case you have ten of something, uh, because these numbers can get pretty high. These represent your armies and your level of power that you've The, uh, the cards are packed face down, which I like to see because then you're looking at the logo. And I always like it when game packaging matches up. Not all game companies do that. It's not really important, I don't think, to the consumer. But to me, it just shows a attention to detail. Uh, there's, I think, 60 cards in here. They're all world leaders from all of time. If you're not familiar with what the project was about, um, you get to take over the roles of several different... Uh, world leaders throughout history, and it's very anachronistic. It doesn't matter that you're Charlemagne one moment, Hitler another, and then all the way back to Alexander the Great. It, that doesn't matter what you're doing. It's just seeing how those commanders would act in the given context of trying to work together to con conquer the world. Uh, there's tokens. These are your generals and your um, your generals and rulers. There's dice. And then there's an expansion set, which is all revolutionaries. Jeff and I talked about the idea of what about Che Guevara, what about Fidel Castro, why aren't they in the game? Um, and then that led to an entire set idea of people that were revolutionaries in every context. So you even have uh, Oliver Cromwell and Gandhi in this set. Um, I think Muhammad made it in here, but we didn't include his image, so I think we're okay. Uh, the printing came out a little dark on it, but I actually like how this came out for a little set of 30 cards. And then there's the promo cards, which if you were one of the people that did, uh, that gave away a lot of money for the Kickstarter project, you got to be on a card. There's 20 people in here. I am in here. Wayne Sherman's in here. Sidex children are in here, if I recall. 
and these also were sent to me and then here's the yellow markers which are in addition to everything that's in here so i've got everything i need the one thing i do not like and this looks like it was printed at ricoh well is this chintzy plastic tray which i more than likely most gamers will just throw away when they're done when they're and they've opened it and put it away but i'm really pleased with how well this came out for jeff considering this is the one of the glossiest things i think he's done in a while uh, he's best known for the uh, space ba uh, battle station space battle board game which uh, doesn't have this kind of modern euro look um, and so i'm pleased with how it turned out i hope you enjoyed watching me open the box this is the first time i've ever done one of these so i have no real idea what i should have said and what i shouldn't have I'm going to post this on Facebook and on YouTube and let people know more about this project. Thanks.